Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Containment Station Suicidal. I don't know if I've done Containment Station on this new uh, thumbnail, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. It's a nice map, it's a nice map. We should do it more often. I just, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. I have, uh, I, have, uh, I have the few maps that I do regularly, and then every other map just kind of falls to the wayside. It doesn't seem very... Um, OSHA compliant to me, you know? I mean, it's got the handrails, I guess, but they're a little bit short, you know, about knee heights, really, so I feel like they're just, they're too short to be uh, a nice barrier, and then that's live electricity just kind of, you know, spurting everywhere. This is really just a, a pretty not OSHA compliant workspace. Um... Was that, uh, is that caused by the, uh, is that caused by the, the Zeds going crazy? Is that why it's all zappy and stuff now? Is that why, I mean, the, in the first place, these, these are just too short, so I don't think it, even, even on a good, even on a good day, I don't think this is a necessarily OSHA compliant, uh, location, but... We'll see. We'll, we'll see about that. I'll get. I'll get. I'll call up Osh. I got. Uh, I got friends in high places. We'll. We'll have them come over and, and take a peek at it and see how it goes. I've been writing. I've been writing. I'm writing uh, chapter two of Sasha's. Sasha's. Shara's. What? I don't even know the name of my own character. Uh, Shara's. Many faces. I'm writing chapter two of it. Oops. Um, what are they cooking up here? But I kind of have to, like, wait for it to get approved on Royal Road before I can really make any kind of progress towards anything, because here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, the bit, all right? Here's the, not the bit, here's the, here's the thing, the problem. I want to implement some, so it's a, it's a lit RPG, so a lit, like a, um, so that's that's uh, RPGs in in uh, in literature in in novels and stuff. Uh, you get to see like stat panels and stuff like that. I want to like use some HTML and stuff to make them work, but I, I have to have some way to preview on Royal Road, which I don't think I get until. Uh, I have a approved fiction on uh, on Royal Road, so I've got I've got to wait until that comes, and then I get to throw together some some custom HTML, make some tables and stuff like that for the the stat blocks and um, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, hey, I thought you were still far away. I thought you were scrape. I thought you were bloat. Not high. You're high. But I, I, gotta, I gotta wait for it to get approved, and it's, it's not been approved yet. It says it could take up to 48 hours. It has been merely, like, 22. So I can't, I can't really, I'm not, it's not yet at the point where I get to, to complain about the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. <laughs> I was so close to survival. <sighs> Ah, dang it, dang it, gosh diggity darned it, blasted game, I wanted to win that one too, I wanted to win that one, uh, well I'll show you this thing I guess if you care, I don't know, I don't know, I've been writing though, it's, it's fun to write, it's nice to write, I like Shara as well, you know, oftentimes I do a lot of writing. I do, I do actually like a, an enormous amount of writing, um, an enormous amount of writing, because uh, I will write like backstories for characters, um, D and D stuff. You know, like I do a lot of writing, uh, and uh, I used to be more into just like general creative writing as well without any kind of uh, purpose or function. 
um, besides just being creative writing. Um, and uh, oftentimes, well, not not necessarily oftentimes, but sometimes you'll you'll make a character, right? And when when I make a character, I like to think about like, you know, where where do they come from, and what are their motivations, what are their fears. What uh, you know? What, what kind of history do they have, and and you know all these things that are going to affect the decisions they make and how they'll react to various situations, so that when you put them in those situations, you know how they're going to react, or at least you can have a, a general idea of uh, who they are and uh, kind of uh, you know deduce you know from that how they would um, how they would. Uh, reacts to, to any kind of situations or, or you know what kinds of things they'd be wanting to work towards like what what, what goals are they gonna come up with and, and you know like all these things right like you put together the, the 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 group of character traits and personalities and all this kind of stuff to to help define their motivations and and uh, all that right like you, you get that together and then you start writing about this character or in the case of D and D uh, you start playing the character, and uh, you find that the Next. sort of the what's it called the the like bullet points that you put together to to define this character. You find that they don't really make a character that you like so much. Um, you know, it happens. It, it's 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 more common than you think, but it's not like you know every character you make. You're like, I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. Well, it kind of is, but um, you know, there, there there's definitely a, a certain semblance of uh, not knowing if you'd even like the character before you get into it. Because I mean, until you actually start writing a story, you can't know exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, like you just you just can't because. If you, if you knew what would happen before, then you, you've already written it down in your brain. You're just, like, transcribing it onto paper, right? But you can't you can't know exactly what's going to happen until you've actually written it down on paper and finalized the, the decisions that are going to make and see how it looks and then kind of adjust it and pick up the things that you don't like and, and make it all kind of make sense. You can't know what's going to happen until that point. So even though you make the character, you can't know that they're going to be a character that you like. You know, you, you, you could end up making a character that you end up playing or writing about and you're just like, yeah, I just really don't like them. Uh, and it's not like, you know, at that point you can just change them because that's the character, you know? You've, you've either got to go through some kind of character development arc where they're going to learn uh, about their flaws and, and how to fix them and then you can kind of slowly tweak them up to, to something a little bit better through that. Or you have to just like kill them off but in the case of D&D or you know finish the story up or whatever um, but you can't just like at least it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't feel good if you just change the characters personalities because you decided that you didn't like it like that that kind of takes away some of the the fun in in when you have a character that you do like when when you're able to just kind of change it whenever you want to, to do whatever you want rather than having to commit to the character that's that's what the fun is to me but you don't like the character, so you have to like fix it, and that's fun in itself sometimes. But it's uh, it is always kind of a, a concerning thing when you're this cat's back in the game. going through like when you're writing a story or something like that, because you're like, I don't know, the, these characters that I'm making, am I going to like them? I do not know <laughs> until we actually start writing down. But I do like Shara. Um, I like her a lot. And uh, that's that's good, you know. So when you have a character that you don't like, it's really hard to actually write about them or motivate yourself to write about them. But when you have a character that you do like, it's very easy to get into character and and start to to write about things. And that's kind of how I write uh, personally. Is is I, I get into character as Shara, right? So I sit down and and I I act as Shara, right? And then I also act as the governing body over the story and kind of put Shara into situations and then I as Shara react to them and handle them and then kind of also do that for all of the other characters in the scene and that that's kind of how I, I write it's not necessarily uh for me anyway it's not necessarily about 
planning out exactly what's gonna happen. I, I, I think up a, a scene, you know, so... Uh, for instance, uh, we have uh, the start of chapter two is Shara being taken to a, uh, like this volcanic region, and, uh, kind of discovering things there, and, and learning about the world and, and stuff like that through this, this volcanic, uh, region, and... What I do is I don't I don't sit down and, and go okay so this is what's gonna happen Char is going to be you know blah 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 and uh, this and this and this is this is gonna happen and, and you know all of these I go okay so Shari gets there by you know X um, and uh, you know the interesting points of it are you know Y and Z there are characters A B and C in the uh, in the in the scene as well that that all also needs to react and I say okay go you know and and I just I play all of the characters and act it out as it would go and I kind of document the the happenings and, and uh, try to describe the the scenery and all of that but it's not really defining it all and 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 kind of putting in there I don't know I don't I don't know if that's a, the normal way to write or if that's a uh, a strange way to write, but but I kind of kind of play it like D and D, where I'm every player and also the DM at the same time. Is kind of how I play it, um, which for me is good. It's the way that makes the most sense for me. Instead of having to think up what happens, I just kind of act it out and respond as if I were playing D and D, and then I just kind of write down what happened and and the scenery and stuff, and that makes it a lot easier for me. That helps me keep things in line and in check and stuff and, and keep things in character and all that um, and and you know then I then I go back and I kind of uh, add in some some finishing touches clean up some of the grammar make sure that the tenses are right and um, get uh, you know maybe add in some descriptors of, uh, of certain things that might be happening or whatever uh, get rid of the redundant words or stuff like that you know and uh, just, just you know, do a do a nice little once or twice over kind of thing to, to get rid of all of the the flaws and inconsistency, or at least the the vast majority of the the highly noticeable and easy to fix ones. Some of them are just like whatever. And some sometimes I'm just like looking at a paragraph and I'm like, yeah, this whole paragraph just kind of seems weird, but not so weird that I want to like tear it all out and then rewrite it. So I just leave it. But um. You know, the, the, the initial pass is, is me acting, and then I go back and I, I do the the refining stuff. But uh, I don't I don't like having to do it all at once. I get overwhelmed, and then I, I just I can't really think about what's happening, and I end up with what I think is a, is a worse story, at least for me, a less fun story to write. So that's that's why I do it the way I do it. What matters at the end of the day isn't really about, you know, whether you're writing the right way or whatever, but, it's, you know, what matters is, is that you're having fun with it, right? You can, you can write with whatever technique or strategy you want. As long as you're having fun, that's that's what matters, right? As long as you're enjoying yourself and people are, well, you know, I was going to say as long as people are enjoying your content, but even that doesn't really matter. It, it definitely helps you feel good about it, but as long as you're having, you know, it helps you feel... Other people enjoying it does help you have fun, but but what only matters is, is that you're having fun writing it. That's it. Nothing, nothing else matters at all. Okay, so we're just like dead again, huh? Yeah. <sighs> containment station is a hard map. I don't really want to do another containment station run here, um, so we're just going to end it. <laughs> it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I think I'm tilted right now. So we'll uh, we'll leave it there. We'll we'll just. We'll just leave it there, okay? We'll just we'll just put a pin in that one and come back to it another day, maybe. Anyway, um, probably in the next episode I'll have a link to maybe in the next episode or not not so not probably in the next episode or like three episodes from now I'll have a link to where you can go and read the story on RoyalRoad.com if it gets approved. Hopefully it does. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know what their approval 
requisite requirements are. I think it's mostly just as long as it's not plagiarized work or whatever, which it's not. So it should get approved. Um, then all you guys will be able to go read it if you if you want to. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. But I'm just gonna say you're a fake fan. Anyway, that's gonna do it today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything else. See you next time. Uh, bye bye.